hello plant lovers this is precious welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in the series called Jamaican men with gardens I'll be heading out shortly to Kingston to visit a lush botanical paradise that is owned by a friend of mine now this friend is a multi-time Jamaica Horticultural Society champion exhibitor and is also a double American Orchid Society Award. Technically, today's guest is no novice, as you'll come to find out when I take you on a tour of his exquisite garden. So, if you want to meet this Jamaican man, stick around and let's go. Welcome back friends. Our guest today is Ernest Hamilton, also known as Ernie, and his garden is called Hamsville Garden. Hamsville Gardens. Hi Ernie, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to my garden. Thank you so much for having me. And Ernie, I don't feel like I'm in Earth or on Earth. I feel as if I'm in heaven. Really? Yes, look at all this beauty. Look at the succulents. Ernie, how did this all start? What prompted you to grow such a beautiful garden, especially the succulents that I'm seeing here? Because once you come through the gate, these lovely um, euphorbia, I mean, they just stand out. Next to them, you have these lovely succulents in hanging baskets. Well, actually, um, it started from way back. I, I was a lover of agricultural science in college. Mm -hmm. And um, when I left school, I did a bit of gardening. So I brought over my experience and knowledge of the subject to horticulture. Wow. And um, I usually look forward to holidays, summer holidays when I was growing up in the country because um, I had to repot my mom's plants in order for me to get um, two weeks vacation in Kingston with my grandfather. <laughs> you had to go through all of that in Yes, early. yes. And in those days, we, we didn't have um, fancy flower pots. We used to plant in chimney and old wash basin and um, put in pans and all of that. So, you know, I started really from way back. Oh, that's really historic. And how did you come up with the name Hamsville Gardens? Well, um, gardening is really nowadays my second passion. Um, my first love is music. And um, that's where the name came from, Hamsville Music. Oh! So I brought over the name into the horticulture business. Because I'm and, here thinking and Hamsville. Hamsville. Hamsville comes from Hamilton. Right. Right. So it's a part of your name. Yes. And as you say, it started with music. Yes. Yes, because that's your first love. So you're not only a horticulturist, but you're also a music man. Right. So I'm a man of many gaps. Proud of you. Thank and you. I'm really loving what I'm seeing here. Everything is neatly arranged. You have a huge variety of cacti and succulents. Where you find time to do all of this, Ernie? Uh, it's very time consuming. Um, most days I'm up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm out here all day. And there's always something to do. Oftentimes when I come out, I plan to do 
x and you end up not doing x you do y but it's still a part of the the, the process but it's a lot of work and um it, it relaxes me and um it, it takes care of the, the, the stress. I, I don't really have a stress problem. That is so good. So wonderful. So wonderful because I know gardening is very, very therapeutic. Exactly. I'm, I, I am experiencing it and a lot of persons have shared similar experience that once you're amongst your plants, you don't feel no stress. You don't think about anything else other than the plants that surround you. Exactly. Yes. And it's a very wonderful feeling. So, can you take us on a tour of your beautiful garden? Sure, with pleasure. All right, let's go. With pleasure. Guys, we're on the outside of Ernest's property. He has a nice landscaping to the front of his property, which I'm showing you right now. And this is a beautiful desert rose I'm seeing right here. And he uses stones as the border Ernie this is really nice thank you so from you drive up to Ernie's gate I mean you start to enjoy his garden because the landscaping outside is just as nice as what you're going to see on the inside this has been around for quite some time it's a monster yes it is yes and it has beans Yep. Pods. Seed pods. Yes, seed pods. This is a monster. I, I was trying to do, um, I started to do some work of art. You will notice here. It's oh, wow. Twisted. Yes, it's twisted. Yeah, but I, Very nice. I didn't continue with it as it, as it grew, so um, it was left on its own. But I'll show you some other works of art when you go on the inside. All right. And this is another agave. agave. Yes, this one is nice. Is it the same yes, as the one right. on the other side? Okay, yeah. this is nice. That's a, that's a baby. This is that. the baby. All right. Over here, you'll notice um, a more pronounced work of art. Mm -hmm. And this, this has to be done in the, in the early stages of, of the plant. Yes. When, when it's, it's young, young and mm -hmm. can bend in. Um, in any direction right so you train it yes. from the early stages when it's a much younger plant exactly because it's more flexible at that time right. the it's branches like, it's, like, it's like children you have yes to, you have to teach them um, when they are young bend them from <laughs> an early age uh, and and i guess these are like your babies your children yes, right so yes, yes it's similar and it's another one over here right Here's another work of art. Oh, Here, yes. But Ernie, you are going with things, man. You have to go teach me how to do them something there. All right, not yeah, a man. I'm always willing to teach. Yeah, okay, like this, how you give this, me this plant is called, uh, it's from the Philippines. It's called a Melina Philippensis. And the Melina is spelled G-M-E-L-I-N-A. The G is silent. Melina Philippensis. It is from the Philippines. And um, the blooms are referred to locally in Jamaica as penis. Yes, the so penis they, plant. Right, but, but that is incorrect. It is really the parrot's beak. Okay. Parrot's beak. But the, the, or the um, botanical name is Melina Philippensis. Oh, Ernie, you know all the name of the plant. <sighs> This is amazing, Ernie. This this is amazing. Believe you me. Well, when you're a member of the Jamaica Horticultural Society and also a member of the Jamaica Orchid Society, um, you get to learn the names of the plants and the different species. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope I, someday I I'll take, be able to. I take pride in doing that. All right. I hope one day I'll be able to learn all the names of my plants as well because it really says a lot when you can identify the plants well you're not able to remember all, the all of them right time, but i try to um, have a label yes on, on the plants so right if your memory fails you then the id is there you can refer to the, the, pla the plant id right so you see some um, labels on your body inside. 
Come on, folks, let us go. We're going to tour this beautiful garden now. I mean, this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this, Ernie. Look over here. Look at the collection over here again. This is a succulent garden, a small yes. succulent garden. Mm -hmm. What's the container? It, you have it's, it is um, an old uh, filter for a swimming pool. Oh, wow. And um, it was like a globe and I had it cut. So that is half of it oh. or about a third of it. Very creative. And I like how you arrange the succulents inside of it. With the, drift, the driftwood, driftwood right and the stones yeah. yes it makes a nice statement Look and at this is a well sort uh, after plant um Echivera. That, yes black prince black that's prince. the black prince right yes. yes it's very nice what's this Ernie? everybody loves that one it's a calancho oh it's a calancho but it's a miniature type the leaves are tiny yes yes those, okay. those leaves don't get much bigger than that this is also a calancho Oh, this one. I gather that this used to be around years ago, years but ago. It, it somehow got off the market. It is now coming back. Back, yes. Because I realize a lot of plants are coming back right. and are being very popular nowadays. This is a very unusual plant. It is called a Wanoloa Arantiaca. Thank you or, for that. Or gold finger plant. Thank you for that because I have it at home and I just never knew what it was really? called. Yeah, I have it. I Here's don't know the name. the name of it. Here's the name Goldfinger plant. Goldfinger. On, on the other side, you see Juan Uloa, J U A L. Juan Uloa. Juan Uloa Arantiaca. Arantiaca. Wow. Thank you so much for that, Ernie. Viewers, look over here. Look on this stand. I tell you, you know, this place is not like I am on earth. Really? Yes, Ernie, it's like really a heavy or something. This is one of my different. favorite. Um, Look at that. This is an oxygona. And it it has bloomed um, five times now in seven weeks. Five successive times in seven weeks. Wow. And the blooms are white and they are elongated. Long blooms, but they don't last. Long. I can imagine this statement days, that it made right days, there. Yes. Mm -hmm. With all those blooms. And um This is a gymnocalisium yes. damsai. Yes. This this also blooms quite often. As you see there now they are Yes in bloom. it's ready to bloom anytime now. This is another Echeveria. Yes. And that, that one, one too. Well. Uh -huh. This one is an unusual one. Mm -hmm. Echivera agavoides and this is the red, red tip, red tip yes one. I can see the red on the tip of the plant it's very nice first time yes. I'm seeing that one I this is a mammillaria elongata elongata and that's a green one and there's a brown one somewhere too this is another mammillaria elongata yes um, there's a brown one under there but that's a small one they oh. have it we have some on the other side yes all right let us go over the other side this is like succulent kingdom this succulent heaven as to mammillaria elongata wow this is nice is this the one they call the copper king yes yes I'm learning, yes, Ernie. Yes. I'm learning. You yes, I'm learning. Yeah. I tried to learn I the names, told but you some time ago that I was going to take a page. <laughs> oh boy, and your jade plants up here. Mm -hmm. Let me see what this monster is, Ernie. Is this the famous dragon fruit? Exactly. Tell us about it, Ernie. Um, this is interesting. Well, to begin with. Here is a fruit and um, it is edible and I'm told that it has um, some properties anti anti um, what do you call it again now the, the word slips me now antioxidant oh. properties and this is a delicacy in in Africa as a matter of fact um, the fruit is sold here in Kingston 
at the new supermarket across from the Constant Springs tax office. And it's it's upward of twelve hundred dollars per pound. Per pound. Mm. Wow. Sorry. And it's it's called a Hylocerus triangularis. Hylocerus triangularis. And if you notice, AKA the vine dragon fruit looks like a triangle, the yes. vine itself. So hence the name triangularis. So Ernie, how do you know when it's ready for harvesting? When the fruit is ready? Um, this is the second time it's it's bearing. We got more fruits the last time. I don't know. Is if this it needs one a, ready? Or? Yes, yes. It, okay. It feels soft. Okay. Oh, I so it's, it's based on. Yes. Oh, when you feel it. And it, it has a, it's not sweet, it's a bit tangy, but um, it, it, it's, it's pleasing to the taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is nice. And I've actually um, ate the fruit already. Well. This is also one of my favorite. That's called the peanut cactus. Yes. And it blooms red. Yes. Yes. This is very nice. I love how it sends out the, I mean, the branch, and then you have all these small ones coming out at the end. Gives it uh, character. Uh, and the botanical name, you see, they look like peanuts in shell. Yes. It and does. It's, it's a chamiserious, echinopsis chamiserious. Echinopsis chamiserious. It's a peanut plant. You see, this gentleman has IDs for his plants. So he can share the name, the common name, and the scientific name with us. Because this thing, may I tell you, the thing just turn up. His garden is just out of this world. I've never seen anything like this. From I entered this garden, I was in awe. I mean, the man, they might give you a run for your money, you know, ladies. Don't you think so? Look at this gentleman's garden, and you have not yet seen. You're just seeing a little portion right now. So go and show you some more. So stay tuned. This is another one of my favorites. It's called a Monadenium guenteri. Monadenium guenteri. And as you see, it, it cascades and yes. makes a lovely spectacle. Yes. Spectacle. It's very nice. And look at this. This is what again the monkey tail. Alright. And I didn't know that it bloomed. Alright. Wow. Ernie, you get all the monkey tail for bloom. And that's that's called a Cleistocactus wintery eye. Viewers, will you remember all of these names? Cleistocactus wintery eye. Can you call these names that Ernie is calling right now? AKA monkey tail. I, I would even start. I would even try. Cleistocactus winter eye. Winter eye. Clystocactus winter. winter eye. Wow. It's nice. Look at look at this one over here. And I love the fan cover concept. This this, this is becoming a common concept these days, you know, recycling the fan covers. Okay. It's really nice. Right. The monkey tail sits well in it. So viewers, if you have um, your old fan, electric fan, you can use the cover. Right. Recycle. As a, right. And I'm looking at this monstrous orchid over here. Ernie, look at this. That is nowhere monster. near the condition that it was when it won two American Orchid Society Awards um, in 2019, I think it was. Really? No. Yes. That's nice, Ernie. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats, Ernie. I now need to break that down, you know, separate it and... Or you're, Start afresh again. or you're going to um divide it yes, and yes. repot, and that I can see the many spikes that it had. Yes, when when as evidence of the many blooms it gave. When, yes, when the spikes it, are still there. When it um won the award, it had um I think 180 80 odd blooms. 180 blooms, blooms. Yes, and you yes. you count all of them, Ernie. Well, the judges did. The judges, <laughs> oh. Yeah, the judges did that. <laughs> Oh boy, that's and a we, whole heap of blooms. The plant was awarded um, to American Market Society. Congratulations, yes. Ernie. Well deserving. Thank you so much. Well, well deserving. Thank you I just so much. love how everything is in order. Everything is neatly arranged. Everything is in its own place. Nothing is out of place. I'm happy you like it. Yes, I'm loving it. Here's a plant that, when it's fully grown, it's a shrub, really. It's called a pink. Crappy Merkel, and the common name for it is June Rose. June Rose, wow. June Rose. When it's when it's fully matured, the plant, oh. and um, 
It really looks good. It's very nice. I love it. And it's unusual. Yes. It's very unusual. It's the first time seeing this type. Wow. Why, Ernie, you have some unusual I, I got plans. this from a, from a very good friend of mine, a reverend gentleman. Okay. And it's minister of religion. This, this is a cactus, you know. It's called, some people call it the zigzag cactus. Is it the same one they call the fish fish tail? No. Or oh. um, it's a different one. Zigzag. It's an epic cactus. Wow. It's called an epiphyllum Epif anguiliga. Oh, I found the ID. Epiphyllum anguiliga. Epicactus. Wow. Why, Ernie? And it does better, you know, um, when you hang it. So yes. It trails. It trails, yes. Mm. Yes, this, I can see that. This is um, uh, Senecio. Senecio. Wow. I'll show you a material plant of it. Um, All right. Let me get on the other side here. Yeah. Wow. Viewers? Mm -mm -mm. My, my Ernie, can I walk on your lawn? Of course. Oh wow, look at this. Woo! Amazing. Ernie. I'm glad you like it. Ernie, this is above like I'm loving it. Tell you no viewers, Mr. The man, them are run we out of town. We have to go pack up and leave. We can't do it out in the Look at this. Monkey. Is this is a monkey figure. Right, or pedilantos. That's the Ernie. This is also a pedilantos. So is this one. But this one is a variegated. This one is very unusual. Yes. It's a variegated pedilantos or monkey figure. Look at how you arrange your desert rose in the pots on the lawn. Everything is just neatly arranged. And the, the roots are works of art. You have to train the Look plant at the for roots. It to grow that way. Man, oh man. To get Burning. the roots, to get the roots to look like this, you do you go through a process called lifting. Yes. Meaning that like once a year, yes. you remove the plant entirely from the, 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 the pot. Yes. Um fill it up back with soil remove some of the unwanted roots you have three sets of roots the primary roots the secondary roots and the tertiary roots the plant doesn't need all those roots to grow or to survive so you remove the very some of the very fine roots and some of the secondary roots and you build up back the soil yes a sort of apex right and then you rest the plant on top of that stake it and tie it to the stake in order to, to stabilize it. Yes. it until the roots um, wow. take set. Ernie knows about it. You see, Ernie, when it comes to implants, them, the man is just knowledgeable, in full of knowledge. Trust me. Ernie. And these plants were bought at, um, well, some of them in, in recent times at Evergo. Yes. Uh, but the earlier ones were brought in by um, HL? Yes, what they uh, Agro Grace? Agro Grace. I mean, Grace. HL Agro, right. And um, you used to, they were very expensive. 2000 plus for, for a small bulb that didn't even have a, a leaf. I have to go down on my knees, viewers, to look at this cardex. Look at this. And it looks like a leg. This is the waist. And these are the two legs. Coca Cola buckle shape, this, you know? Yeah. I had one here that um, oh. was look very at amazing. This. But it, it transitioned. Come, come, come over here, Ernie. And just so that people will get the proper pronunciation of the word, you pronounced it correctly. Codex. Codex. The spelling is C A U D E X. Yes. Some people think it's C O R D E X. Oh, it's C A U. C -A -U -D -E -X. Thank you for that, Ernie. And that is the beauty of the plant. So you, you must not cover up the codex. Right. Side. You should allow it to rise above. Because that's up. where the beauty, apart from the blooms, the, right, beauty, the beauty is also in the codex. Exactly. Yes, it is. Because it gives character to the plant itself. Exactly. I'm loving this one. I used to have one here, oh. but it, it died. And um, that one was the center of attraction. 
when you when you looked at it, yes, it was like a lady sitting down with her legs crossed. crossed. And everybody who came here asked them, "What does this look like to you?" And everybody had the right answer. Looked like a lady sitting down. But unfortunately, you lost yes, it. Yes, the transition to wow. Orchid. I'm lo uh, I love this one. The desert rose heaven. Wow. And the name of this one is Ready Purple. Adenium Ready Purple. It, the, the body ready for true, Ernie. Look here. You know, look at this, viewers. Well, this one. This is the Christmas Santa. This one. Christmas Santa, yes. This, this one blooms it. profusely. It, when it is in full bloom. Yes. Easily, I have over a hundred blooms on it. Easily. Wow. But um, we got some rain recently, and desert rose don't like too much rain. Rain, uh, yes, they don't. They, they, the, 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 the blooms drop. There's a little friend here. There's a little visitor here. Right here. Right in here. Oh. He's so tiny. Look at that, viewers. He's checking there. Yes. For insects. He's enjoying your plants as well and he's yeah. checking for insects. This one is. Is it king of purple? Yes. It's king of purple. It's yes. a beautiful plant. Yes. Look at the contrast yes. in the bloom. Very, very, very beautiful. King of purple. And you, I notice you put them on pavers? Yes, that, so, the reason for that is that um, if you just put it on the grass, the grass will eventually grow up through the holes. Right. And come up in yes. And you don't want that. Right. Hamsville Garden. This is a treat. Look, look at this. Okay. I love this, Ernie. Did you make this too? No, I oh. I, I designed it. You designed I, I, it? Yes. I, wow. I conceptualized it. Yes. And had it. And had it done. made. Yes. Nice. I Very nice. I also have one for my music studio. So Ernie, That's you it. have music studio too? Yes. Me know you say you I love told music. You that yes, was but my first passion. Yes, but me never know you the whole you manage music studio and all these plants. Look over that side. Here he has some lovely dendrobium orchids. And they are not in bloom now, you know. If, if you had come like they're like still nice four early. Weeks ago, you would have seen, you know. Yes. Lots of blooms. I can see the spikes. This one is called um, Jacqueline Thomas. Wow. It's named after Jacqueline that, Thomas. Whoever that famous person was, Jacqueline Thomas. But that 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 blooms a lot. Yes, it's a bloomer. Yes, because I can it's see the, the even here. the dead spikes, right? If you visit my Instagram um, page, you will see them in bloom. Oh, so Hamsville your page. Instagram page is Hamsville, Hamsville Gardens. Hamsville Gardens. So you can, if you are an Instagram viewers, you can always visit his page. He posts some really, really nice pictures of his blooms and his his plants on a whole. So it's Ham Ham Hamsville Gardens, Gardens <laughs> on Instagram. All right. This side. Look at these giant bromelias and agave. Wow, no earning. This is spectacular. You know this one? No, this is I called don't. a mangave. Mangave? Yeah. So too is that one. And this one. So is there a woman gavi? Not that I know. Of. Oh, okay. Um, this is. Just asking. This is the. Pineapple Express, I think. No, this is a spotted dotty. Spotted dotty. That is the Pineapple Express. Okay. And this one is what? You see a label on the bottom. This one is Freckles and Speckles. Right. Wow, Freckles and Speckles. Really has Freckles and Speckles, so those true to three, its name. Those three are mangaves. Those over there are agaves. Okay. This one is the famous one, Victoria Regina. I have it, but I don't know the name. I'm going to have to get Victoria. the names from it before I leave here no to problem, the Ernie. No yes. That that one grows into a lovely plant. And okay. It sort of forms a globe. Oh wow. A very lovely plant, but it's a very absolutely slow growth. Yes, because slow, mine very is very slow. tiny, so and I've had it, it for a number of you years. You have to have a lot of patience. patience you must look at these bromeliads. Oh my gosh. This one is the Margaret. Neoregilia Margaret. That, that stripe on there. This man, this gentleman is amazing, you know. This one is the Neo Franco. I, that's one of my favorite, but 
unfortunately i don't have the name for that viewers i hope you guys are listening keenly and you're learning from all that ernie is sharing with us today because this is a lot of information and i really admire the way how he can identify the plants even without looking at the id look at this, this. is a air plant tillandsia tillandsia zero graphica wow this is also a, a tillandsia so too is that they are all air plants yes but this is the creme de la creme tillandsia zero graphica Look at this one. I love the red contrast. It's very, very striking. Very, very nice. Is it the same thing no. here? It's different. Oh. Yes, because when I look at these leaves too, it's 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 different. These are the suckers from that. I just Oh, these are the suckers. Maybe it's from this one. No, no, from this one. I just from this one. Oh. I'm waiting for it to color. Okay. And this one is in bloom. This is nice. Mm -hmm. And I see, this is the black ZZ? Right, or the raven. The raven. It's called the raven. Wow. So, Zamea uh, culcus, Zamefolia, raven. You know, I've tried to remember that name, you know, and I just say, you know, you stick I, to the ZZ. I, I just stick to the ZZ because I've tried on so many occasions to remember the correct name, what the ZZ stands for, but right. it's just not working. Zamea not working culcus, for me. Zamefolia. But Ernie, when and I take the garden finish. My air plant. Look at this. This collection of Tillandsia. Look at this, viewers. Ernie, your garden is such a spectacular one. It has so many varieties of plants. Desert rose, bromeliads, succulents, cacti, orchids, Tillandsias. And I still don't see everything yet, viewers. Look at the vandas now. Look at the arrangement around the vanda bed. And you have them growing inside the blocks as support. This is very creative, Ernie. First, okay. I'm seeing my, this concept. My reason for doing this, for coming up with this concept, yes. is that um, at our monthly meetings at the Jamaica Orchid Society, you are asked to take a plant in for um, judging? table judging. Yes. Right? And it makes it much easier if I have to remove one of these plants. I just pull the stake up with it mm -hmm. and throw with the plant. When I come oh, back, that's I just, very clever. I, I would never it, have thought of that. When I come back, I just put it back in the in this in the spot. In the pocket yes, and fill it back with and gravel. fill it back with the gravel. Wow, I love that. And um, at first, I used to pot them in put them in pots. Yes, and I find that I was getting a lot of root rot because if you're over water, yes, and it doesn't dry out properly, um, you will get root rot. But when I do it like this, I, I minimize that. Right. Yes. Amsville Heaven. <laughs> this is another Sansevier. Sansevier, yes. This, this, this is called the. Let me see. Um, right. oh, see Kirk. Kirky eye. Pul Pultra. And this is copper tone. Sansevieria. Kirky eye pultra copper tone. Wow. You know this plant? This is the vanilla clericolata. It's an orchid. I bought this a couple of years ago and I'm not seeing it with any leaf or anything. And I'm saying it looked like I got six for nine. No. But now that I'm seeing it here. No. I realize that it's really the vanilla because it just sits there and does nothing. It's not around there, really. It's the same. It's a different yeah, plant, different. right? Right. That's the one I'm familiar with. Okay. So I was wondering if this was a knockoff or it wasn't no, a real no. vanilla. Okay. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Ernie. Thank you so much, sir. You have You're so you have, knowledgeable. You have come at a time when um, I don't have a lot of blooms, and um, one of the reasons for that is that mango tree that. Is next door? Yes. It provides too much shade. Mm -hmm. You know, orchids. Yes. Sun. Require sunlight. Mm -hmm. Ernie, these are shade vandas. Mm -hmm. You don't know how you get them fit so tall like the sun vandas. Mm -hmm. Ernie, what you do? Tell me, Ernie. No, it's, sir. It's TLC. Just like you do, TLC. I, no, I watch Ernie, you, I watch no, you on no, your Ernie. Instagram page. Not like what I do, because yeah, I yes. don't have nothing looking like this, Ernie. Come on, Ernie. Look at these okay. viewers. Look at this monster. 
Oh no ever see me showing anything like this in my garden? Not at all. Look at this. And it's mounted on a piece of wood. From time to time, I have to remove some of the roots and they get too much. Too much. On the ground and all that. Yes, because I notice you're tired. You, you make a little knot here. And sometimes I've cut it out clean clean. Wow. So you have some more bromeliads behind you there. Yes, you more bromeliads. Ernie, do you eat? Do you sleep? Because it do not seem like you get time to do anything else other than take care of these plants. I don't know, my person, I have to eat and I have to sleep. No, I, trust I me. I spend time with my plants. And like I told you earlier, it's a stress buster. It's a stress buster. As well, right now, my, right now my stress is busted when I'm looking at this. And that is a small one. We had a very large wow. one. Wow. Another one. I don't know. It's out of blue. Rinko style is for this It's fragrant. Sometimes oh. you're in the kitchen there, man, and it's so, and, and so they, sweet. You get the fragrance mm. right into the kitchen. That is so nice. Look at it. It's, uh, it's one of the Rinko Let me ask my cameraman to give you Celestis. a close-up view. See the Rinko Stylist Celestis Stis Blue. Blue. Yes. Wow, Ernie, you're an exceptional grower. Horticulturist, gardener, are, everything. These are small plants of the ZZZ. ZZZ. The, the regular. Say the name again uh, for me. What Zamioculcus zamifolia. Zamioculcus. Zamioculcus. Zamifolia. Zamifolia. Zamioculcus. Zamifolia. I get it, viewers. I get it. But don't ask me for repeat it. Right, see, see. Yes, you have some bigger pots right oh, here. This is another plant of the one you saw outside. This is a penis plant. Oh, you remember yes. the name? I told you. You told me about Ernie, I don't remember. Melina Philippensis. Okay. G M E L I N A. Melina. Melina Philippensis. Okay. This is the thornless crown of thorns. Yes. This, this is called a Geraldii. 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 G-E-R-O-L-D-I-I. -E -I. Geraldii. This is a fern, a splenium nidus. <laughs> Early. <laughs> no, a I have to look at you because I'm speechless. You just know the name for everything. Trust me, Ernie, you think no, turn up. You, you can't know everything. You think turn up, Ernie. You can't know everything. This is one of them. So Hamilton, uh, you know, Xavier Hamilton, his name after his Oh, Xavier his Hamilton, his grandson. Yeah. You should see this in what, Rome. What kind of orchid is this? It's a Cattleya no, um, um, Bratonia. Uh, what's this again, Ray? It's a uh, Cattleya. Yeah. Oh, There's okay. a new name for it now. Oh, they have really Bur reclassified it. or something like that. This is a very unusual one. I bought this from wow. Mike some years ago. It's called a um, Cyropetalum. Daisy Cyro chain. Petal, Daisy chain is, a, is a, um, it because it, it, the bloom comes on in, in the form of a chain. Chain, yes. And it's always shaking like that. Bulbophyllum, bulbophyllum, mm. yes. Very nice. Cyropetalum. Mine look like a dog, Ernie. Mine look you're compared coming, to this. You're coming, you're coming. But if you, you know, know this, me, I don't give up. Cordyline. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Mm -hmm. It's from and the, the Dracaena, right? Yeah, right? Yes. And you have another oh, orchid. This is my um, mm -hmm. cat section. They are not in bloom now, but you see, I have some spikes yes, there. Yes, this one is nice. Yeah. Wow. This is a lovely one when it's in bloom. Let right? me see the Hons uh, Hodsman Gala. Wow. Lelia, Catlia, Hodsman Gala. This is another Xavier Hamilton. No, no it's, a it's a wrong, wrong label? label. Oh, yeah. okay. And that one is in spike as well. Hodsman Gala. Mm -hmm. wow. So this is your Catlia section. section right. right. This is nice. Even though you don't have a lot of blooms, they are quite healthy and they're still looking quite nice. When they are in bloom, man, I can't just me, imagine. Yeah, yeah, really mm -hmm. nice. Oh wow! And Ernie, what is this here? Is 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 this little shelter here? This? Yes. This is part of an old time satellite dish. You know? I figured. I, oh, I just. I'm just showing you ways and means of to using recycle. And recycle things. Right? Let me show the viewers. I, I like to call because it repurpose. Sometimes repurpose. you see these things lying down and creating like garbage, and people don't know that they can actually recycle it and make it into something useful or purposeful, meaningful. Look at this. 
it is providing shelter for your orchids. Right. I was it's like an umbrella. The, I was hoping to put up the complete dish, but it, it wouldn't allow me. I yes. didn't have the space for that, so yes. I had to break it down in quarters. This is just one It is quarter, still nice, two, yes. The other two pieces are open. Wow. So. Oh. Look Ernie? at this plant. This is it's a very unusual plant. The Medina law? Yes. And this is my third or fourth attempt at growing it. I, I, I lost three. I've gone about ten. Okay. And so you're still... When Way this, ahead of when this is in bloom, we have lovely bunches mm -hmm. of, of what looks like grapes. Yes, it's These called grapes. sea grapes, I think. Okay. Common name, yes. This one is a big leaf, mm -hmm. uh, made in mm -hmm. I had a small leaf one. This one gives you um, a smaller bunch of bloom. Okay. Whereas the small leaf one gives you a bigger bunch. Wow. Of bloom. And that and is the one I, I can't grow. Well, I've tried growing both, but I'm, I haven't been successful, so I've given up on it. Mm -hmm. Given up on it. But it's nice. How long have you been growing this one? This? Yes. Um, probably, probably two years. Probably two years. Wow. It seems as if it's there for more it, than it that. Seems, longer. No, it seems to be happy where it is there. Yes. So just, it, is, it is quite a healthy I plant. I almost gave up on it because, like I said, I lost three. Mm -hmm. And I didn't decide to continue with it so ernie that's motivation for me then to get another one yes ma i'm going to try with yes, it again it's a lovely plant it's, about 10. it's a lovely mm -hmm. plant i've bought it so many times but i don't know what's what i keep doing wrong yeah. so this is motivation for me i'm going to try again with it yes ma'am you shouldn't give up on me you must have patience patience I'm, I'm trying to see if i can find a bloom from this plant Sometimes the blooms fall off in the pot, you know. What's the name of that this plant? This is the money plant. Oh, that's the money plant? Yes. So, Ernie, that money plant, when you have it in your garden, it make you have a whole heap of money? I, I thought so. But um, so far, it has not borne any fruit, money fruit. So oh. what I did was to put some coins in there. I was oh. looking for a coin to show you oh, just now. Oh, so you put the coin in there. Right, but uh, it seemed to, when you water it, it seemed to have... Um, it gone on the other side. Yes. <laughs> so, you put the coin in there exactly. in order to... So I'm trying to find a plant now that bears US dollar. Oh. US coins. Let yeah. me know when you find that one. Okay. <laughs> Please share that one there with me, Ernie, when you find All it. Right. This is very nice, Ernie. And I, I love this bulb of fire. Ernie, you do all of this? Yes, ma'am. No, Ernie. Yes, you get help. Ernie, you get help. No, my wife and I run the business. Jesus. This is unbelievable. Viewers, look at all this. I tell you now, Ernie. I don't know. It's, it's 24 hours you have in your day or you get more than other people? Because this is something where... You know what? Oftentimes I wish I had some more hours in the day. I can only imagine because this if, must be a lot. If it doesn't get dark, most times I don't go inside and I'm out here from morning. So you spend the entire day in the garden? Yes. As a matter of fact, now, because of that, I made an outside restroom. So I don't even have to go. Did you hear that, viewers? He said because of the amount of time he spends in his garden, he had to erect an outside restroom to take care of his needs because he wouldn't have time to be going into the house. He didn't want to lose time. So there it is over there. If you think I like see it there. And when I come out in the morning, I come with my, my igloo with my water. As if you're not at home, he comes out in the morning with his igloo as if he's going on a picnic because when he gets out in his garden he spends most of the day or the entire day in his garden tending to his plants and early you make use of every space look at this i forgot to ask you this is to, on top of the to bring a piece of your land for me when you were coming here I, it can I, be arranged, I've Ernie. Run out of land space. It can be arranged, no problem. It can be arranged. Look at all this. Look over here, viewers. Oh my word! Ernie is an exceptional horticulturist. I've never seen 
I wonder if I see anything better than this, or anything come close to this come early. On, come on, you I will. doubt it. You will, you will. I wasn't expecting to see this because it's the first time I'm visiting your garden, and I'm in awe with everything. I'm in love with your garden, and you know I'm a sucker for succulents. So I really, really, really love your succulent collection okay. and your cacti. They are beautiful. There's more to see. And there's more to see. Did you know that? Uh... All cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. Do you know that? Well, I was told, because I'm a novice when it comes to cacti and succulents, but I was told that succulents do not have the prickles or the thorns. Cacti have the thorns. That's how you differentiate. But then I realized... But cacti is also a succulent. That's so what I realized. simply put in it, all cacti are succulents but not all succulents are Art. cacti. I tell you, you know, this man is very, very knowledgeable. People want to listen carefully, especially for those of you who are into succulents and cacti because this is important information. I never knew all of this. I've learned so much today just by visiting Ernest's garden. Wow. And, um, and we're still going to see some early would be interested to know that um, when I started out in the plant business, mm -hmm. apart from growing plants for my home purpose, right, just for beautification of, of my surroundings, yes. um, I ventured out into growing plants for exhibit. I used to um, enter the annual Jamaica Horticultural Society's um, flower show. Yes. And um, in fact, I am I am the current champion. Wow! Congrats again, Ernie. Thank oh, you're you. doing well, man. Thank you. The last well time, deserving again. The last time they had a show, which was in 2019, pre-COVID. Since yes. then, they haven't had any. Yes. Um, I won ten trophies, and that was a record um, for the. The society in the in the history of the society well done ernie nobody has ever won 10 trophies at any one one show did you hear that viewers I 10 got, trophies i got um 240 40 odd points and the second place um winner was beaten by over 100 points so he came nowhere close to you oh my word and i can only imagine because I would sometimes visit that show and I realized that there were some very, very unique desert rose and cactus or cacti on display. So now I know where they came from or where they're from because I'm seeing them here today. And to make it even more interesting, there are times when, well, to begin with, you are allowed as an exhibitor to enter two plants in any one category. Yes. Two plants. And that's open to anybody. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to be a member of the Horticulture Society. You can come in as a, an outsider. outsider yes. Only that if you win um, a section that has a trophy, you won't get the trophy as an outsider. You have to be a member. Okay, in order to get the trophy. And oftentimes, in several of the sections, I am first and second. Since you're allowed to enter two plants, first and second. Said both plants. <laughs> and I remember at one time, I was in the era of the, the exhibition era, yes. while the judging was going on, I was um, attending to somebody's plant who, that had overturned. I was trying to set it up back. Yes. And I saw the judges um, and overheard them um, trying to, they were deliberating as to which of a particular plant, two plants, was looking better. Mm -hmm. Which one was to be first and which one was to be second. When I looked, both plants were were yours, you see? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh boy, that must be a wonderful feeling. Well, of course, of course, you don't know who the plants belong to, you know, because you, you don't write a name, name on the plant, right, you just, just get a number. Right, okay. okay. So you would have to be the owner to identify that. Oh, that's my plant. Look at this. So what's what's the name of this again? So Euphorbia decariae. Euphorbia decariae. The same one we saw around the front. Yes. yes. So I have learned that it doesn't like sun. Oh, it doesn't like too much sunlight. Much in the shade. This is nice. Look at those over there. This was a prize winning plant in its days. 
it was looking, you know, much better than this. It was all compact. It was our first pair of pairs. Yes. What's the name of that one over there, Ernie? I have it, but I don't know the name. It's called, um, we call it Boxing Glove. It's a Cylindra Puntia Fulgida. Wow! Cylindra Puntia Fulgida. Boxing Glove. Look at some of the off shoes, they look like yes, a boxing, really right? Like a boxing glove, that's so true. I think I think I have it, and I may need to repot it because it has not grown in many many years. Mm. I don't know why. Yes, this is a huge motivation for me. It's gonna be a tussle now between my succulents and the orchids and the other plants because coming here today and seeing all of your succulent and cacti coll collection, Ernie. Trust me, this is a huge motivation for me and I'm sure our viewers will be motivated as well because you have shown us so many varieties of succulents and cacti. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Oh, you want to show something else here? Yeah. You see viewers, garden can go in These are pachypodium. Oh yes, pachypodium. Nice. And the, this is the Saunders CI. Saunders CI. Pachypodium Saunders CI. Pachypodium Saunders CI. All these are the same. Um, you notice know, the blue? Yes. Uh, Look at this monster. I have that this. That was a prize winner. Um, three years. Three years at the show. That was the cactus winner. Yes, I have this one. It has grown so large and wonderful. And you still. To support it, yeah. yes. You need to put it in a bigger pot. Wow. That one three years in a row. This is so huge. And it won't even give me a baby. Man. I don't see anybody. No. This, this I have it and mm -hmm. it has not given me a baby. Mine is like a quarter the size of yours. It's like right here. Mm -hmm. Because um, somebody came visiting the other day and she told me to repot it. It needs repotting. But it's slow. It's, it's I've had it for years. Baby. It grows quite slowly. My young astrophytum. These are grown from seeds? Yes. Wow. You see, viewers, they are growing. The, the cactus and succulents, them from seed, from you know. Seeds. Oh, look at yeah. these little babies here. These this, these are the same astrophytums? Um, just look at that label there. Oh, ferrocactus. Yes, they are ferrocactus. So those are the, like the big grown ones? Right? Yes, up, up top. Okay. The barrel like. The barrel like ones. Okay. Why, Ernie? Strings. Strings. This is strings of. Is this what turtle? Is it turtle? This is strings of heart. Heart. These oh yes, heart. heart. And this one is a banana uh, yes. or fish hook. Banana. Banana. Okay. And here we have more succulents. There is so much to see here. No, Ernie, this is unbelievable. Oh, one man can take care of so much plants. Look at all these succulents. Pride, Cryptanthus. Cryptanthus, yes, it's nice. Yes, that's we, the Cryptanthus. I'm waiting to get some babies from them. Wow. These are seed mm -hmm. Yes. And the aloe varieties. Oh my word. No, I understand Ernie when you come out in the mornings why you don't go back inside until yeah, night. Because it's a lot to maintain. Your aglonemas over that side. What's this, Ernie? This is string nice. it's a string of. I'm not sure. Not sure, but it's a string. Oh, yeah. Yes, and it's all the way down. It's nice. Look at all this. Oh, wow. Look at all these succulents. Look at all that. Wow. I tell you, Ernie, I am amazed. Some more string here. Yes. That looks like the fish hook. That one over there. I don't know this. The strings are becoming very popular these days. Yes, I'm yes. Some are, these really. days they're I've lost two because I can't really it's too no, much. I have a lot of this too. The dragon food. You have? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm getting a dragon plate. 
and another agave. Oh, these are aloe. Yes, but this is another agave. Yes, yes. that is the, the Victoria. Yes. So we go through here, Ernie? Yes. All right. I don't think there's much to see there. That's my work area. Yes. Whew. It's so hot, huh? Yes, it is. This is my where I do my mixing on top. Sorry. Yes, I'm going. You know what this plant? What's this one? It's some um, creeper. It's a potus. Potus, yeah, yes. People call it creeper. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, I think, it's the marble. Okay. And this one? Or the enjoy. This is different. Enjoy, yes. Yes. Nice. Guys, this is more than a tour. Ernie's garden, Hamsville Gardens, you know, is. This is the this is the Right, our garden. Yes, here. his garden is like a botanical garden. It has every type of plant that you can think of, and Ernie is so knowledgeable. He knows the name of his plants. That is so incredible. You try, you did better than try, Ernie. Oh, here's a mature plant. The, oh, the, the, the epicactus. Yes. Epiphyllum anguliga. And the anguliga comes from the fact that you notice these are angles. Yes. They are at an angle. Yes. Wow. You see what I just tell you? He's so knowledgeable. There's a story to each plant. This plant here, you know, the Sansevier. Um, um, Whitney. 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 I remember that one. Whitney. <laughs> I definitely remember that one. Oh, wow. So we are back around this section where we started. Guys, I'm exhausted, but it was worth it. I'm sure you enjoyed the tour of Ernie's beautiful garden, Hamsville Gardens. That name is so befitting. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and the loved ones. And also leave me a comment. You know, it helps my channel to grow. Thanks again for watching. And as always, stay precious until I see you again in my next episode.